Chris, and today I'll be talking about STL's Florentine Tenor Ocarina. The Florentine Ocarinas are excellent for beginners who would rather learn on a clay ocarina than a plastic ocarina. The Florentine Tenor is a great fit for most hand sizes, so it makes a great first ocarina for children 9 and up, adults with average to large size hands, and players who prefer the tenor range. It's also a great ocarina for anyone who appreciates the look of a traditional Italian ocarina, but is looking for an instrument with easier breath requirements and an extended range. The Florentine tenor is fully chromatic and plays in the key of C from A4 to F6, giving it a range of 1 octave plus 5 for a total of 13 notes. Another way to describe it is that it plays 1 octave lower than the Florentine soprano. Here's the scale. The Florentine tenor is a little less than 7 inches long, and it's about 3.5 inches wide. Compared to the Florentine soprano ocarina, you can see how much larger the tenor is. It weighs about 8 ounces, which I discovered is about the same as my Nintendo DS Lite. So here they are next to each other again for another size comparison. The unique shape and color of the Florentine tenor is inspired by the first classical ocarinas, which were invented in Budrio, Italy by Giuseppe Donati in the mid-19th century. Donati transformed the ocarina into a true musical instrument, and this series is a tribute to that contribution. The Florentine tenor has a slight texture and feels grainy like glazed terracotta. For beginners, having a slight texture can be helpful for keeping a good grip on the ocarina while playing, and it also makes it easier to quickly cover and uncover the subholes for the lowest notes. Although tenor ocarinas are a great fit for most hand sizes, children under 9 and adults with smaller hands may prefer the Florentine Soprano. The Florentine tenor's overall volume is moderately loud for a tenor ocarina, which I consider to be fine for inside or outside play. It is a rising breath ocarina, so the highest three notes are a little bit louder and require extra breath, but the lowest notes using the subholes can be played very easily using even breath pressure, like this. This ocarina is designed to be very beginner friendly. While the ergonomics may feel different at first for an ocarina with this shape, some beveling around the subholes makes the lowest notes much easier to play. This, in addition to the texture and the easy breath requirements, makes this ocarina very easy for a beginner to pick up and play in a relatively short time. The Florentine tenor has a versatile tone, which is bright and moderately responsive. The overall tone is very balanced and consistent, and playing vibrato is very easy on this ocarina. There's also a subtle texture across the range, which creates a very distinctive sound. Even if you don't plan on wearing this ocarina around your neck, I still recommend making use of the neck strap while you're playing until you become comfortable with the ergonomics. Plastic ocarinas can easily survive a fall, but the Florentines, like any clay ocarina, are more susceptible to breakage. I would recommend doing this for every new clay ocarina until it feels comfortable in your hands and you can confidently play the high notes. To discover the best technique for playing the high notes, I recommend trying several different techniques and trying to find the one that best matches the shape of the ocarina that you're using. For example, I use one technique for ocarinas that have a shape which is longer and has a more tapered end, but I use a different technique for playing high notes for ocarinas that are rounder and have more of a submarine shape. To get the best results on the high notes, be sure to use plenty of breath on the highest three notes. If you don't, you'll sound flat, and the notes themselves will sound weak and airy like this. Using the correct amount of breath, in addition to tightening your lips a little bit to speed up the airflow through the mouthpiece, and also tilting forward slightly, can all help you get a better sound with the highest notes.
The tenor range is very versatile and sounds great for most types of music, so I recommend playing whatever you enjoy the most. Whether it's lively and upbeat or soft and melodic, it will probably sound great on this ocarina. That's about it for this time. Thanks for watching.